Okay, initiate launch sequence. Three, two, one. We have ignition. Thank you very much. That's, that's lovely. Worked exactly as. Well, hello there, humans, species, earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and whoever you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. Welcome back to Channel on Bushkin. Today we're going to be talking about the changes in the game. Uh, the game we're going to like PUBG Mobile. And there's been some huge ones over the past year, and it's been a slow but persistent tide that has uh, raised many boats. Uh, I'm talking, of course, about the constant tinkering with 7.62 and with sniper rifles and with DMRs. And the fact that this has turned a game that was absolutely dominated by M416s and UMPs into a game where I'm getting killed more and more often by guns that I did not used to have to really deal with. Uh, and that, for me, is a, a huge uptick. Most notably, of course, is this amazing weapon here, the AKM. The AKM, once upon a time, was a bit of a joke, and it's been buffed and buffed and buffed again. And the last changes have shown somewhat of a trend with the way the PUBG Mobile devs are working. We've seen UMPs and things like that get buffed with their limb damage, and that's exactly what's happened with the AKM. It's now the most ridiculous limb damage weapon in PUBG Mobile. But more than that, we've seen changes on the margins. It's really easy just to buff a weapon's bullets damage and say this is now going to do 61 instead of 60 but to change the bullet speed to change the damage over distance to change the limb damage to change the recoil characteristics in hip fire that's the kind of stuff you see on the margins and bullet speed most notably is the place that you see the most improvement in these weapons 762 is now quite often all that's in my backpack uh, I'll run MG3, Mark 14, AKM, Graza. I mean, the M762 is now the red-headed stepchild of PUBG Mobile, but it still works. It's not that it got worse. It's just that everything else got better. And then you get to the bolt actions. I've had so many moments lately where I've gone bang, headshot, bang, body shot. And the reload time on the bolt actions, that intra-clip reload, that difference making half a second where as they're running away you actually get to fire one more time has turned car 98s and m24s particularly into weapons that are really really impressive now in their finishing power and we've we've always had the mark 14 and the funny thing is a lot of people saw changes to the mark 14 in recent patches and thought it was nerfs and it's not the mark 14 is better than it has ever been in PUBG mobile it's it's now for my money like the difference in the time to kill is nearly nothing they they slowed it down by the most ridiculously small factor and buffed everything else it was like people were like oh the mark 14's finished and it's like no it's like one one hundredth of a second slower in terms of time to kill and has better recoil and bullet speed and damage over distance and is, uh, yeah, it's pretty freaking good. So if you're just now getting to the point where you're realizing how crazy good the 762 world is, welcome aboard. The, uh, the water is warm, the camaraderie is intense, and sincere and you're gonna have a good old time in this town tonight then you can spray the mark 14 awesome. you can even use them the akm as a pseudo dma the, the hip fire on these things has got better and this is a crazy one because for me it's all been because they awesome. refuse to nerf the m416 and that's fair enough like i understand the game is free to play you might say that the crates cost too much money or you know, the, the power creep is a real thing, and it is, but it's free to play. You don't have to spend a cent in PUBG Mobile. You really don't. It's, it's in its truest sense of the word, free to play. You can have exactly the same experience playing it buck naked with no skins on your weapons as you can rolling around in an arcane jester thing that costs you half your mortgage for the week. Um, and you will get exactly the same playing experience. So while I 
don't love the idea of power creep. It is 100% great that so many more weapons are relevant now. And it, it's interesting to me that I nearly... Like, the AKM isn't as good as the Grata, but it's so close. Um, the, the AKM's level 3 vest clearing abilities, like late game, if you're just going for level 3 vests, that's when the AKM starts to really, really shine. Um, but the Grazer still has that crazy rate of fire and legitimately great damage numbers. And the fact that you can still run different 5.56 ARs now on your Switch, like the Scar L for me is a better gun than the M416. It just is. And the Org is just streets better than the M416. And the fact that they've been buffed so that they're relevant, like more than relevant, like they're just better guns now, means that the game's just more fun. There's more texture uh, to the to the game. There's more interesting moments with the game and, and more interesting weapons decisions to make. Do you run a bolt action or do you run an org on the switch? And the AKM on a hot drop now. Oh my god. This thing, I mean, if you get this gun on a hot drop, it is so good because no one has any armor and it's got such crazy stopping power. I mean, there's a squad. You can see them. They all drop there in the same outfits. Ain't none of them going home. Um, and this, it still does the crazy big headshot damage, so it's just fantastic weapon. So, I've noticed this. I've just, I've, I went and edited a whole heap of footage, uh, over the past week after I got back from Europe. And I realized it's just all 7.62. I'm just running so much 7.62, and I'm just doing it so freaking effectively, like the... I'm like, oh, hello, is, it, is that dude for real? Mate, maybe stand up. <laughs> I don't think you were fooling anyone there. And it's doing things that the 5.56 ARs used to do. Like the studio space that the AKM takes up now, that, that 45 to 75 meter kind of gunfight, the AKM is very capable of doing it. The Car 98, like it, it's... It's now a situation where it's it's such a it's such a quick reload that it can it can be effective in all kinds of situations. I I mean the DP twenty eight we haven't even talked about, but it's it's still really relevant and still works really well as a switch weapon. It's just it's almost been resigned to to history because while it is relevant as a switch weapon, it's just not as good as, say, running a scar on a switch that can do everything the DP does, apart from that really long-range DMR-style stuff. And because of this, I'm enjoying the game more. I think there's just more scope for... <laughs> you know, what's better than one AKM? Two AKMs. I mean... You're, you know he's coming out there. You know he's coming out with the shotgun, don't you? Just, it's such a, such a standard thing these days to just deal with shotguns. Um, and that's another thing. Like, there's more shotguns. There's more vectors. There's more UMPs. Everything else is getting buffed. I, a long time ago, I was doing a, a video on sniper bot rifles, the bolt action buffs. And it was the first round of bolt action buffs when they buffed the damage across the board on these sniper rifles. Uh, and I said, the next thing that's going to happen is they're going to buff DMRs because these guns right now are irrelevant. And they were. And they buffed DMRs. That was the next thing that happened. And I thought that might stop. But instead of them going and looking at ARs after that, they then buffed, you know, all the other ARs outside of the M4. And then they buffed sniper rifles again. And then they buffed DMRs again. And I think now we're in a place where I just want them to keep the lid down. I think right now everything is pretty much in balance. I mean, the really, really OP stuff is in the crates. The Mark 14 is just stone cold broken the awm is absolutely insane like he got buffed the uh the org is now also absolutely insane and all that stuff is in crates 
Let's keep it there. I think the game's in a really, really good place, weapons-wise. I hope you guys enjoyed this look at the 762 meta. If you would mind subscribing, that helps me release some endorphins and make me feel like I'm actually not wasting my life. That would be good. Um, and sharing the videos if you think they're worthwhile. Until next time, look after yourself. Stay safe in the battlefield. Uh, keep going with the Christmas miracles of a, a balanced weapons meta. And uh, until next time, bye for now.